All right. Oh, oh, oh. Kenman here. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Whatever you celebrate. I hope everyone is having a great, safe, healthy holiday weekend. Um, did you get some knives? Did you give some knives? Did you purchase some for yourself like I did? <laughs> well, of course, it's Christmas. I'm celebrating, and how better to celebrate than to open a couple of my gifts with all of you today, right? Well, as you can also see, my nemesis box has returned. I have bled from this box, and I will not be doing that today. We are currently one-to-one -one in the competition with uh, this nemesis of mine. Um, the last battle I won, but I am still reserved. I am alert. I am ever cautious against this great foe. <laughs> Respect must be uh, upheld. Anyway, no blood happening today. Uh-uh. Let's hope. <laughs> I don't know. Before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. Alright, so... Yeah, I, I did cut myself opening this box. It's got this... Oh, it's got this little thing you're supposed to tear, and I do not believe in it anymore. So I'm going to do a controlled Kenman cut. We're going to get up real high and tight on the pie right. This box is very, everything's down into the corner, so I know that when I do this, I am not cutting into anything. Now we're going to go straight down like that. All right. That is not how you usually would open a box, but in this case, I am not cutting myself on this sucker, and I will win. I have made a window. What is inside? Ooh, that's fun. Reveal, that's it. Box on the floor. It's Christmas, and we've got one box on the floor. Huh. Will it be the only one we do today? <laughs> we'll see. What is it? Any guesses? It's a Kaiser. Da, 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 da. This is my third Kaiser. Happy with some Kaisers. I uh, had a little issue with my Bugai, but I swapped it out. I uh, got kind of a bunk one, and the new one is fantastic. We will look at it in a second. Anyone have any guesses on what this one is? Yeah? Okay. Let's just get into it. All right, Mojave Outdoor, your best Kaiser knife retailer. That's who I got it from. There's another Mojave Outdoor sticker. Oh, that's nice. They got the little, it looks like the penguin sticking out of the pocket. And the Kaiser little envelope that I can't get to. I'll do a quick open this up here. You get your cloth and Kaiser's cool uh, imagery. It's kind of a nice touch that they do. Everybody already open all your stuff or are you doing that later? You do it other days or maybe you celebrate completely different ways, uh, which respect to however people do it. Live your life. It's great. We're all having fun playing with knives. Get some screws, excellent. Get that stuff out of here. Anyone recognize what we've got here? This is, bag on the floor, the Kaiser Original. This was a nice, simple, inexpensive kind of base, my, uh, base model that I saw that Kaiser makes. And you can see it's a button lock right there. You know I love my button locks. And uh, yeah, Kaiser Original. Let's test drive it. Boom, there it is, out. It's a smaller knife, for sure. 
154cm blade, right, 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 right there, I can't tuck. <laughs> Looks nice. Uh, we have an aluminum handle. It's got this green coating on that smooth aluminum handle. We've got our button lock. Ooh, yeah. Thumbs out nice. Flicks out nice. Button lock. All right. Not bad initial action. Look at that. That flicks out perfect every time. Real, really excellent out of the box. It's a little smaller, so that's one of the one of my reservations. I have a couple on this, but I had to pick it up anyway. Um, basically, that aluminum. Look at that surface. I kind of want to do some type of a laser mark on there. If you haven't seen, I do some custom laser marks on some blades. Maybe you saw that pyrite I used to open. I put that lightning bolt on there. Yeah, look at that quick. So this is the first one I did on this side. I just did this one on this side. Just having some fun experimenting with the laser. Um, but yeah, this looked like this with this aluminum. Nice surface I could do. I've got the black uh, coated blades dialed in pretty good. Um, for the marking and this aluminum is going to be similar to the pyrite handle So I should be able to get a cool mark on there if I decide to do that. I don't know. We'll see button lock Seems to be nice. It's it's smaller If I grab loosely like this my pinky falls right off. I have a larger size hand I mean we can we'll do some measurements everybody talks about sizes and XL L is a normal size Hand for a guy, whatever. I don't know. I have triple extra L uh, gloves that I get. Whatever. No bragging. It's just that's the way it is. Um, anyway, Kaiser Original, like I said, it's 154 CM blade and aluminum handle. What else do we need to talk about here? It's got that thumb stud is the only method of opening. There's no flipper on the front or the back other than obviously the button. Um, flips out really easy. I would say instantly what I notice is my worry that I start to with my bigger hand I squeeze around it and then I can start to have issues down here where my uh, the meat of my hand is starting to wrap around there and I've had times where I might be like this and then it catches my thumb I'm trying to open it that's something you get when you have a, a smaller handle and a larger uh, hand not complaining it's just I tend to like larger knives um, but this thing feels great. The action is really nice. There is no jimping whatsoever. Not a fan of that. And it's got this writing on there, original. That's kind of not a bad place to put writing up on the spine like that. Ooh, this is not a huge knife. Um, and then the rest of the writing they've got kind of tucked in there. Makes it a nice and clean look. Nothing really sticks out too much with the writing there's your 154 cm written on that side um the pocket clip does not switch to the other side which is another downside to this knife for me personally as a lefty um the action is nice i gotta kind of squeeze it a little in a little different to keep oh there hit my index to keep my hand out of the way but i like it this is nice it feels good um not being able to swap the clip is a big boo people should be able to especially on a budget knife like this why not just put the holes over there it's not that big a deal um centering that thing looks like it's right in the center nicely it is solid yeah no play with that blade what kind of a detent we have here It's not super heavy, the button lock, but it does kind of pull in, so it does feel pretty good when it flicks out. Um, although, if you saw that right there, I can barely kind of push, and it, it doesn't take much. So the detent is light, but it, like I said, it is a button lock, so that's generally something they don't even have of a detent ball. So um, that does always have an effect an effect on it, obviously, so it's a little bit harder for the company to dial that in to make it feel good and still snap out. Um, yeah, okay, I started doing uh, measurements, so I'll grab my ruler. Here's the, uh, the span. 
11 inch almost. Oh yeah, we're, we're measuring knives here, kid. Um, all right, see, this is small. This is under seven inch total. We're looking at uh, barely a three inch blade. Um, cutting surface is even a little bit less. Well, actually it might wrap around to almost three inches. Uh, handle is just shy of four. And you are just shy of seven total um, with the whole knife. If I grab that pyrite, it's a very common knife. I would say that mid-size, everyone's comfortable with uh, knowing how big it is. So as, as a comparison, I compare it with pretty much all the knives I show. Um, so the pyrite is actually larger. It's just a little bit bigger on the handle and a little bit bigger in the blade. So this uh, original is definitely pushing on the smaller size knives, but it is a button lock, which is pretty great. Uh, the other bugai that I have is the <laughs> the other bugai. <laughs> the other Kaiser that I have is the bugai. Look at the drop on that. It just drops shut so nice. Flicks out great. Really cool looking blade with this micarta. Um, but look at how it just oof, falls so good. Oh, there's your fail. <laughs> what is mine? Yeah, it's all good. But the bugai is great. Now that I've got it swapped out, I'm really happy with that. Let's Put those side by side. Pretty similar to guys, obviously. A beefier, thicker knife and a little bit longer. It's almost exactly the same size as the Pyrite, actually. The Bugai and Pyrite are really pretty much the same. So this uh, original is a little bit smaller. Um, I did grab the Civivi Altus. It is a nice button lock that I really like that has got a nice action. And uh, I figured it would be kind of a similar size as well because I consider the Altus to be one of my smaller knives that I like. It's a button lock. Um, it is, the Altus is also a little bit bigger. Um, Altus is smaller than the other two I just had out, but it is just a hair. If I even them up here, the blade is just a little bit shorter and you can see that handle is smaller. So this original is definitely a smaller knife. Again, I'm not complaining about that. I'm just kind of comparing to ones that I get and uh, things that I like to get and look for. Like I said, because I'm not sponsored by anyone, it's kind of on me to make the purchases and spend the money on stuff that I want. Generally, things that are smaller, I'm not as big of a fan of. Um, things that I can't swap the clip for a lefty. Oh, see, I'm noticing that. It just kind of falls out pretty easy. So the, sh the detent... It could be a little bit stiffer. I could maybe tighten it up. It does have a captive pivot. That's nice. Um, but again, like I said, it's a button lock. So button lock should swing. It should swing like that. You'll be able to swing it out, lock it in, lock it back. You know, there shouldn't really have anything that's going to prevent that from moving around. But you do want it when it's solid like that, when you're snapping it out, you, you want it to have that kind of... Let's go ahead and grab that Altus. See that? Also a button lock, but the way that button works, it pulls it in nice and gives it that real good snap. And you just get that pop, that little pressure behind it. And then when it releases, it just really sends out. And I've noticed a couple times here, you can kind of do that. Not a major complaint, but it is definitely something to consider. Okay, other thing I was doing, um, since we're doing measurements, we weigh it as well. Try to get this in the right spot so you can see. I, I'm going to be measuring in inches, weighing in ounces. If anyone has any other recommendations, I can certainly do that. 2.6, pretty light. How much is the Altus? 2.8. And the Pyrite, 3.6. Two point. This is an entire ounce lighter than the Pyrite. That's, that's pretty light. Okay. What else do we want to talk about? Maybe we'll do a few real good close-ups. It's got that nice coating on the blade that looks nice. It's just very clean. There isn't a whole lot other than, like I said, the writing that's real tight inside there. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Glamour shots up close here. Looks like they're just full aluminum and it's got little section in there. You can see where it's a little bit shinier, where there's a little nested piece 
I'll probably steal or whatever up in there. Nice little knife. What's everyone think? Does everybody have one of these? It's a button lock. That was what kind of sold it for me. It's kind of a good price right now in the holidays. Um, and button locks. And it's green. You know, so I might as well. What am I carrying today? So I'm carrying the Civivi Vision FG. Merry Christmas, right? Ho, ho, ho. Um, yeah, you might see me again later today. Hint, hint. Um, it is Christmas. I am opening gifts. I got another one over there. Maybe I'll hit record and film that one too. You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> that is going to be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button. And subscribe if you would like to see more. Oh, see? It's a little light, little light. Nice little night though. But yeah, subscribe if you'd like to see more. It helps me out. I really appreciate it. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.